That's, that's not good. Damn, that shit is dirty. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on the drift cat, showing you how not to blow up your car. <laughs> make sure you change your oil, and I'm going to change my diff fluid as well. I went into uh, Overkill Performance to grab some oil and made a quick little video. Check it out. But yeah, grab 10 quarts of this AMS oil, uh, 0W40, and this shit is not cheap. If you can see that, that says $17 a quart, and that is times 10. Pretty expensive for some oil, but it's worth it. I'm gonna be beating on this thing, as you guys know, so I need good oil in this thing. But now I'm gonna head up to the Dodge dealer, grab some diff fluid, and then grab a locker. Stay tuned to see what this locker is called because I forgot the exact name, but it's an additive that you add to your diff fluid to make your LSD into more of a posi. Both wheels will spin more frequently rather than, you know, one leg in every now and then. So stay tuned, I'm about to head up there now. Anyway, let's cold start, go get some E85, and then go spend some more money on some fluids. <laughs> Bucks, full tank. Entrance though, what y'all know about that? <laughs> Ooh, with the tan TRX, I like it. The tan on the TRX is close, it's very similar to my old color, but it's obviously gloss, and I think it's a little bit lighter of a shade. But that shit looks tight. I want one of these hella bad, too. <laughs> Got the gear oil, and then the most important part this is what it is the limited slip additive hopefully you guys can see that really really well but this is pretty much what turns your LSD into a uh, posi 11 bucks 12 bucks or some shit definitely get this when you change your fluids worth it now city alignment here we come Yeah, back in my favorite spot in the world, Disneyland. What's going on, my guy? What's up? How you doing? little dark not gonna lie I haven't changed this oil in probably 
I want to say damn near like 5,000 miles way longer than I should have waited it definitely should have been like 2,000 miles 2,500 max but got a little busy at least we're doing it now changing the oil getting that shit changed get some some fresh AMS in there kind of hard to see but it's got a, a red tint to it it's like the special additive that AMS uses turns that shit red I'm almost positive the last time we changed this was when after I hit the deer right yeah it's been that it's been a long time couple months for sure it's been even longer since I've done the diff fluid it's been <laughs> I don't it might have been like since like 2021 nah I definitely did it sometime last year but it's been hella months I know that shit. <laughs> damn that shit is dirty 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 no, no, we all went. Holy shit. That's, that's not good. It's been too many miles, that's for sure. I can smell it too, it's like metal shavings and shit. I have the Durs diff brace and it kind of makes things a little difficult when you go to change your fluid. The top piece is right over the, the hole where you fill. checking this catch can catch cans are super important on especially boosted motors because that's that's a lot of blow by right there burnt oil and shit that you don't want going into your intake so invest it to a uh, catch can look how dirty this shit is nah, not, too bad. Uh, not the worst it's that ams oil so oil has changed diff fluid has changed one thing that we never did though when we got a new bumper put on was wire these reflector lights on so i think we're about to do that now when the other bumper got ripped off from the deer it just ripped out the wires and on the light there's obviously a connector where the wires you know go to but now there's no connector so i'm gonna have to order the connectors if I might have some at the house, I'm gonna check at the house, but if not, I'll have to order those. But it looks like I'm gonna have to wait on getting them wired up. Huge shout out City Alignment Concord, come through, get all your repairs done, fixes, alignment, suspension work, all that shit. They'll hook it up. Tell them I sent you. They will plug it. Oil, 100% live. Yeah. <laughs> back at the house now. And like I was saying, I have this extra bumper from way back when. And they still have the side reflectors on them. And we need those. We need those connectors off of the reflectors on there. So we can hook them up to here to get these working again. So I'll get those wired up really, really soon. Another thing that I want to do is maybe throw in these brass monkeys with this wrap because I think it might look good. 
Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm probably going to do it anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. That's pretty much how to not blow up your Hellcat. <laughs> or at least just one of the key things of how to not blow up your Hellcat. Oil changes are huge, huge for your motor's health. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, go to hellocloning.com and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces. We're in Las Vegas, Big Free Lane for Fox Television. Ricky Bobby, today's big winner. A heck of a win for you today, but it seems as if you can either win or crash the car trying to win. Well, Dick, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Yeah, please, yeah, and nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, the bumper you're kind of good there, you know, my guy. You know what I'm talking about? That phrase, trademark, not to be that for Ricky Bobby. They didn't see nothing.